Hello, I'm Mark Hughes. Welcome to Disability Viewpoints from the State Fair Coliseum in Falcon Heights, Minnesota. With me today is Jim Berg, the number one magician in St. Paul. And uh, he is a big part of the circus, and so he's gonna to talk to us about the Osmond Shrine Circus today. Welcome, Jim. Thank you, Mark. Great to be here, or great to have you here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I am a, a former patient of Shriners, and so this circus means a lot to me. And this is a, a big fundraiser for our organization. And so we hope everybody comes, come, joins us and comes on down and enjoys it. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on, Jim? Well, we've got a fabulous show lined up. Uh, this is an all new show uh, with lots of fun activities for children of all ages. And we've got uh, everything from the Chris, the traditional circus clowns, which are our own Osmond clowns from St. Paul. And then we've got animals, we've got camels, we've got elephants, the largest act in the circus. Uh, jugglers and all kinds of fun superhero acts. You, you're gonna have fun. Great, how many years has the Shrine Circus been in around? The Shrine Circus itself began in 1906. That was the first circus held in Detroit, Michigan. Great. However, the Osmond Shrine Circus in St. Paul is the longest continuous run circus. This is our 97th year. Wow. No one has run circus as long as we have. Wow. So right after this circus is done this year, then you plan for the next one, is that how it goes? We're always trying to plan and, and see where we can improve and get a better show. And what, what type of uh, details does, does it take to plan a show like this? Well, to begin with, it takes over 200 volunteers. So our organization, the members of Osmond Shrine, their wives, their kids, their families and friends, everybody participates in putting on this circus. Uh, but there are details with advertising, there's details with the arena arrangements, uh, everything that you would think if you were planning a wedding. Mm -hmm. And even though COVID's going on, we're still gonna be here. So everybody come on down if you get a chance, uh, we'd love to see you. And we'll be here all this weekend. Uh, and you wanna tell us when the show times are? Yep, we've got uh, nine shows yet, uh, Thursday night, we've got Friday morning, Friday afternoon, Friday night. We've got Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, and Saturday night, and then two shows on Sunday, uh, Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon at three o'clock. Great, and then if you want more information and you don't see us here, you can call 651-452-5662, and we'll have a recorded message on there and uh, so forth, so you can get the times and dates then. You can also go online to www.osmondcircus.com. So, Jim, tell us a little about the historical parts of the circus, what uh, you think people enjoy the most about the circus, and what it means to a Shriner to be a part of the organization, to be part of the circus. All right, that's a, that's a whole lot. Um, the circus began in 1906, I was the first circus in Detroit, Michigan. Osmond Shrine Circus began in 1924, and we were the longest continuous run circus. This is our 97th year. Um, we have produced circuses. Uh, back in the day, we used to go travel the country and pick out each individual act. They would have uh, auditions, so to speak, and we'd say, yep, we'd like that bear act, we'd like that juggling act. Um, that doesn't happen quite that same way anymore. We now hire a producer. We give him some guidance as to what we would like to do, but we allow them the liberty to create the best show they can and put it on for St. Paul. Great. And uh, what? how many years have you been involved and what do you think has been the most outstanding thing? This is my 53rd circus, um, working at the circus. I started, my father was a Shriner and I started following him around the stands selling cotton candy um, when I was eight years old. And uh, from there, once I became a Shriner, I uh, continued working with the circus and now I handle the advertising and marketing and uh, work in the back room during the show. What, what kind of stuff does that entail? I mean, advertising and marketing is pretty detailed and, and uh, pretty critical. How, how, do you, how do you handle all that? Well, we, we have to reach our audience and our audience is actually everybody because whether you're eight years old or 80 years old, you can have a great time at the circus. And once once in the lifetime, every, somebody's been to the circus or everybody has. And so you just want to let them know it's still here. And and how do you, what's your best reach? How do you do that? 
Um, we use all the media. We have billboards, we have television, we have radio, we have newsprint, we have direct mail. We do a little bit of everything um, so that hopefully we don't miss anybody because no one should miss an opportunity to go to the Osmond Show. Absolutely Circuit. not. I know I don't, but um, how, and you plan this all year. You were always kind of worrying about this and working on it. It's an all year process with a whole team full of circus committee to make it all happen. Good. Is there anything you'd like to tell everybody at home that might be watching this? If you ever get the opportunity, be sure to go to a Shrine Circus. Absolutely. It's, it's the most fun anyone could ever have. And so we'll be right back with more Disability Viewpoints.